Mike Matei is finally embracing the memes. I want to talk about Mike Matei and the fact that, you know, as the title of this video suggests, um, he does embrace the memes now. Um, you know, so in the early days of uh, AVGN, uh, in that whole era, like, you know, 2006 to 2000. 12, I guess, like around in there is when a lot of the memes were born. Um, you know, like uh, Brown Bricks, for example, Mike made the Minecraft with Gadget video. And um, other things have become memes over the years um, through the Cinemassacre Truth sub. Uh, I am a truther. Uh, I'm on the sub all the time. Um, but I'm a huge Mike fan, but, um, big Mike fan, by the way, yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of the memes were created later, like towards the late 2010s. Um, but Mike has started to embrace the memes in recent years. So, like, a few years ago, it seems like he didn't really acknowledge the memes or respond to them at all but um there's been even things like the rage videos like a few years ago people were making rage compilations of mike's videos you know rage moments from his streams people were making videos like that and calling them rage compilations and for the longest time mike was silent on that he didn't he didn't acknowledge it or maybe not even know about it but um a couple of years ago mike started actually putting out his own rage compilations on his channel you know and you can go on his youtube channel and look up like mike matei rage compilation um and i thought i think that's a really smart move because these rage compilations are people things that a lot of people watch including myself when I first saw him on YouTube, I was like, oh yeah, like rage moments, like there, you know, there, there are some really good videos and, um, I think it's really smart of him to embrace that and make his own rage compilations because, uh, then, you know, that brings more people to his channel and helps him grow. So if people are already making rage comps, why not capitalize on those views and bring them over yourself? Um, but uh, also on his live streams, um, I've been watching Mike's streams for years, probably since like 2017 or 2018. Um, he does stream on Twitch a lot. And uh, so even the last year, the last couple years or so, um, he started, actually, I think he started around 2020. He's been gradually embracing the memes on his streams and stuff more and more but a couple of years ago he really started leaning into like you know the brown bricks and all the other memes which some of them i can't talk about on here because i want to keep this clean but um he really started embracing most of the memes and he he's not even embarrassed about it which good on him because it's such a smart move just to come out and say yeah you know these memes are about me, like I'm embracing it, like I'm I'm laughing with you guys. Like that's such a like a mature thing to do, I feel like, and um it's such a good um attitude to have because you know, anyone could could make memes about anyone. If if someone made memes about me tomorrow, I could either be mad about it and be like, oh, you know, or I could embrace it and just laugh at it, like so, you know, it's always good to laugh at yourself. It's it's such a good attitude to have. And um, I just think it's really smart um, of Mike to embrace the memes. And uh, I think it was one of the biggest, the best moves he could have possibly, possibly made for his um, online career. Just to come out and say, yeah, I embrace it all. Like, um you know, because there's no, there's no, there's no reason in being ashamed of your, like your past, you know, so, um, 
go watch uh Mike's live stream uploads. He uploads them to YouTube. Um and also watch his rage compilations that he put out on his channel. He puts them out regularly. They're really funny and just awesome. Um I love Mike's rage compilation, so um Yeah, uh I'm glad he embraces the memes. I think it was a really smart move.